Hello, hello. I hope you are ready to start art class with me today. And I cannot wait to see what y'all do this week with this art project. All right. So let me share my screen. And let's begin. All right. Our elements of art and our principles are designs. Our tools we use, y'all, we're going to talk about these all the time. So let's review. We have color, shape, form, value, texture, space, and line. And our principles of design are balance, unity, variety, emphasis, movement, pattern, and proportion. Okay? So throughout the year, we'll focus on these. We'll get those skills down. And y'all will be better than me one day at art. And I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> All right, so our sensor question is, who is Patty Donahue? Who is Patty Donahue? Let's figure out. So, she, put me right here. She is a full-time artist in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Has anyone been there? So, she is a local artist to our state. Um, her art career began as a child with a dream which is, she has a really cool dream. Her dream was she wanted to design cards for Hallmark, you know, your birthday cards, your happy Father's Day, Halloween cards, you know. She wanted to design those when she was a little girl. So that kind of um, inspired her to be an artist. So her artwork is colorful, bright, and full of happiness. Through her work, she wants to be able to bring joy and pleasure to the world. So, it's colorful, it's bright, and full of happiness. And she wants to bring joy and pleasure to the world. I wonder what kind of art she does. Let's look. What do y'all think? Is it happy? Is it joyful? Is it bright and colorful? I believe so. When I look at these, they make me happy. They make me think about my neighbor's chickens. They make me think about my two dogs and my cat and how silly they are. So yeah, I think she did it for me. She made me happy and joyful and that was her goal, right? So what do y'all think? These are portraits of different types of animals, right? And she's focused on using bright colors. The backgrounds are very, very simple. See, she just has this line to represent the space and break that background up. She has this horizon line here, which is a tree, keeping it very simple. Just a, a, color, black, ugh, a color background here. Here again, that horizon line. This looks like a, the, this uh, animal's in the field. And then here, this one's funny, little donkey's got his tongue sticking out. She's got some simple flowers and again, horizon line. Oh my goodness, there's a bow in that donkey's hair. I just noticed that one. So for our art project this week, we are going to be making a portrait of an animal. And we're gonna be focusing on using space. In each one of these, she's created a space. Is her space, wide and big and far away or is her space very up close think about it if i'm back here wide and big am i close to the computer no and these animals are very up close right it's just kind of like the top of the, their heads and a little bit of their body so our space we're going to be trying to create this this illusion that you're right up on these animals, okay? So that will be what we're focusing on this week using that space, trying to make it seem like the, the viewer is right here at our work, or, or the animal. All right. Materials you will need is construction paper and your choice of materials to add color. Paint, markers, color pencil, oil pastels, glitter whatever you want to do to color y'all this is your art project i'm just here to help you along okay we're going to be making a portrait of a cow and again having it be very up close creating that space he's this cow is coming off the page the body's going over here in the distance the ears are coming off the legs 
We want to create that, that space that, that's very close to you, okay? So get your materials ready and we will go along together step by step on how to create this cow. And then lastly, I will have you use your own creativity on your background and how you want to do it, okay? So get your stuff ready and meet me in the next video. Bye y'all.